What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bundesliga career mode it is episode number three returning today right now as you can see one game away from the official halfway stage and entering the winter break six points off the bottom three as we try and pull away in today's episode with the January transfer window opening where of course we still can't make any signings this is our second and final month serving a transfer ban so can't make any signings in this window unfortunately but we will be selling uh, Oof and also Lubisic has just come to me and said boss Yada, 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 let me leave. So, yeah, totally fine with that. So, we'll, we'll squeeze through loads of games today and get into the final third of the season. Probably finishing up around here, I'd say, or a trip to the Allianz, take on Bayern Munich. Loads of stuff to get through. Let's crack straight on. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, the monthly scouting update. As here come the bids for Lubisic, uh, one from Marseille, and one from Crystal Palace, actually. I don't, I don't mind the Crystal Palace deal there. Uh, or Marseille, to both, both of those are fine with me. And we'll take what we can get. And a monthly scouting report. Uh, from the Netherlands, as Giovanni Bacca still continues to look really good. So I'm going to give him an academy scholarship. We'll continue the scouting on him. Oh, just for now. That goalkeeper could be very good indeed. We'll give him one more month and see how he looks after that. But uh, yeah, so so far, we, uh, we we know we know who the main pieces are from our academy right now. He was going to be quite good at that. But um, yeah, still still looking pretty pretty decent. The youth team right now. And by the way, these three players can leave on free transfers in January. Totally fine with me. I don't mind Schmitz, but he has had the long-term injury. So if he wants to go, I'm totally fine with that. I'm 29 now. But uh, yeah, all these three are available to leave on free. So I'm totally fine with that. We're going to have a bit of clear out in January. I can already feel it. Yep, Dominique Heinz uh, looks as though he's on his way out of the club. So that will be totally fine with me. And as January is here. Here we go. Here we go. January is here. And we see that, okay, so I do has been recalled by Frankfurt. We barely used him. Uh, Waldschmidt has been recalled by Wolfsburg. We barely used him as well. So totally fine with that. Selk is, of course, our main guy. And there we go. The two departures there. Again, we can't sign players. We can sell players. And two of those have gone. Oof has joined Fenerbahce. And Lubisic joins Crystal Palace in the end. So we, we get a bit of money. But we can't reinvest it. We're just going to keep that in the bank. We're going to save it. We're going to hold on to it and look to put that into the budget for next season. And as for the youth scouting from Germany and Belgium, we'll continue scouting on these three players here. And sadly, no one making the cut from Belgium this month either. But that's, that's okay. We've already got like a really, really solid youth academy right now. And of course, we know who the very best is as well. Oh my goodness gracious me. Yeah, I think, I've, I, I think it's time to promote him, to be honest, man. I think it's time to promote The only problem is, like, if we don't... Oh, this guy's starting to, to go down a little bit. I'm going to release him. If we, um, if, we don't, if we don't get him right in the first 11, his potential is likely to drop. But I have to say, I mean, he's too good. What I'm going to do is promote Janssen for sure and uh, put him on the loan list and try and get him out. He's 18 years old, so a little brief tip here. When you see a player is 18 years old, it's normally good to get him a pro deal as soon as possible because the chances are, come the end of the season, he'd ask for one, and at the end of the season, if he's not played any games, EA will downgrade his potential for the next year. So that was Janssen, the fullback. I think I'll have the exciting prospect, Chag. Let's find out together. No, it's showing great potential, but even so, we'll add him to the loan list there and, uh, and try and get some first-team football elsewhere because he won't get it here. Um... But yeah, I mean, we are the league's lowest scorers, so getting a new offensive piece is never a bad idea, even if it's through the academy. Do I do it? Do I do it now and just throw him straight in? Possibly? Possibly on the wing? Left footer? Not quite got the pace. I don't know. I'll think about it. And so as Dominic Heinz is going to leave in the summer, we have a bid here for Hubers as well. This is one of our better centre-halves, Fiorentina putting a bid in. So totally fine selling him in the summer. But right now, I, uh, I can't really afford to sell any of my better pieces here if we are to stay in the Bundesliga. So, no, no, we are getting so many bids for our young American striker, Damian Downs, and I don't know why. I mean, Garanzi is like fifth, sixth choice here. But if, if anyone wants to, they can have him on loan, but they're not taking him permanently. Hey, there we go. Uh, Heidenheim want to take Janssen on loan, but they're a, they're a Bundesliga side like ours. Is he even going to play there? I'd, ra I'd rather get into the two league if possible. I know it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but I'd, uh, oh, Norwich, wow, championship side, I want to take him. I'm not against that, to be honest. I wouldn't mind that at all. Wouldn't mind that at all. Do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll let him choose where he wants to go. He, he can stay in the Bundesliga or he can go to Carrow Road. E either is totally fine. And a uh, bid here for Baka to Kanda. Uh, but again, depth, 
depth is uh, is is okay for us, but this guy's only 90 and he's uh, he's got a long way to go. Right, there are loads of games to get through today, so let's kick off with this one. After this one will be the official halfway stage of the season as well. I just take on FC Heidenheim right next to us in the table as we're going to get back to winning ways here. Come on, Carl. That's really well played, that winning, guys. Go on, off you go. Off you go. Finger off, eh? Here we go. See you, Selka. Davey. Kind skipper, surely. Yes, come on. Curl in front, and we lead at a Ryan Energy Stadium. Haven't won here so far this season. Will this finally be the first game at home we get to win? Oh, come on, don't. Don't concede. Yes, DJ, man. He has made a massive difference to our team since coming in, man. I didn't really want him in this position, but in the end, it's worked brilliantly. Great work from DJ. Selka surely to make it too. Come on. DJ, wonderful work. And Davey with his ninth for the season. Come double up. This has got to be our first win here. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Straight from kickoff, really high nine. Back in it, 2-1. Clean sheet's gone. But we're still in front here. Come on, man. We, we, we're cursed at this stadium. If we're leading by two at home to Heidenheim and still don't get the win, then I'll, I'll, I'll call it right now. We will not win in Carlton all season long. This needs to be held on to here. Come on. Yes, he wants to keep running. Oh, Davey's too good. Oh, he's too good. Two goal cushion restored instantly. And Davey hits double digit. He's too good, man. 2 on 1, high 9 should find a goal back here, and they do indeed. Smash it at the near post, but not enough time. 20 seconds of normal time, not enough time. We're going to hold on to our first win in Cologne all season long. Yep, not the way we normally win our games. A goal glut, five goal thriller, we come out on top. Finally, the curse of the Ryan Energy Stadion has been lifted for at least one game week. Cologne win in Cologne. And so, just before we jump into our following game against Dortmund, uh, a few loan deals have just been agreed. Uh, Janssen has decided to go to Heidenheim, so we'll keep an eye on our new Belgian talent there. Uh, back out to Kanda has gone to Herenveen on a six-month loan deal. And Damien Downs has joined Cincinnati on a six-month loan deal as well. So, three players getting loaned out there. Um... We do have it for Hubers as well, but again, I can't really afford to lose one of my better players right now, even though we are, of course, focusing primarily on the youngsters for our first season. If I'm going to promote Benjamin, I need to do it right now. I need to do it right now, because only 10 days to go before the window slams shut. So I, I think I'm going to do it, because even if we don't play, we can loan him out. And... No, I, can't. I, I, I just don't want to stun this group. What I'm worried about, and you know what I'm worried about, is that it will come to the summer and I'll say, I want a pro deal, and then it will lose its potential. Oh, I'm going to think about it after this game. Yeah, following game, Dortmund at home. Uh, heading into this one right now, Borussia Dortmund. Uh, currently sat in third place as we to try and get back-to-back -back wins and pull away from the bottom three. Come on, God. I, I'm so worried about a potential downgrade at the end of the season. That's the thing, man. You know, when it comes down to youth player growth, you need to be very, very, I'm not sure what the word is here, but I guess strategic, really, with the way you get the best out of them. Because there's no such thing as upgrades, as we know, which means that their growth is going to be slow unless they're on specific development plans. Wonderful build-up. And the finish to match as well, and getting the game time. But the problem with Benjamin is that, well, A, granted I've got him on balance because I like the natural balanced growth, but how am I going to get the guy game time in this team when Davy Selka continues to absolutely dominate? Cull in front, it's that man once again, it's 11 and 18, and this is why I'm not promoting him, because I can only really play him in this role, and Selka's just too good to be dropped. No, 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 Daniel Malen. First DJ, shoots and scores, far corner. Just didn't want to overcommit there with men coming into the middle. And it's a class finish past Schwab and Dortmund had the level up. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to hold on to this. We've only won once at home all season long. Back to back against Dortmund? Yeah, I don't think anyone ever believed we're going to hold on to this. Shot man in the middle. Danielle gets away oh that's so poor for me that, that is awful absolutely awful defending 
and Doniel gets another. Look at this, man. I'm, I'm wearing the two shirts in the middle, but I just... Oh, God. I just let him step inside and shoot. That is terrible, that. Absolutely terrible. What a throw away. Oh, what a turn. What a ball. It's going to be free. Oh, no. What a... Oh, I thought it was a brilliant tackle. Referee says otherwise. I want to see that on the replay. Did I did I get the ball first or did it come through the man to get the ball? Uh, oh, okay, well, there's your answer. No, definite penalty. Definite penalty. I always say that sometimes I, I need a replay to confirm it, but no, that was... Oh, definitely a penalty with a, a lifeline off the post. Very rarely do you see the AI fail to hit the back of the net or at least not force your keeper to make a save, but lifeline, can we take it? Hold on, let me concentrate. Max is shot blocked, and that should be claimed by Gregor. And, oh, he's, he, he's injured. My, no way. He's injured kinds in the front. I've never seen that. You know, you talk about collector's items. I've never seen a goalkeeper injure a player before. That's incredible. I've never seen that. I didn't even think that was possible until now. That is so crazy. I did not realize that goalkeepers can injure outfield players. I didn't think that was possible. That's incredible. As Carstensen, our Danish uh, midfielder, has come up to Genk. Um, but how bad was it? It's a four-week injury as well. It's not like a bruise, but a four-week sprained knee for Florian. Um, oh, do you know what? Sod it. I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting Benjamin, because Benjamin can fill in that CAM role now with, uh, with Florian going down. I'm putting him in. His technicals are unreal for a 16-year-old man. 83 ball control, just 16. 76 curve, 74 dribbling. And he's got good agility and balance, which is key for a playmaker as well. I'm, I'm putting him in, and we, we know he's got that potentially special, just like DJ as well. He's taken the number nine originally. I'm, I'm so excited about this guy, man. I think I will put him on a development plan as well. Get that attacking work right up to high. This dude looks unbelievable. You know what? Maybe, maybe we could promote someone else here. I mean, why not this young center off Ronnie Hahn? 16 years old with the potential is fantastic. Um, it's it really what we're lacking is like a good DM, you know, a good, good CM, good CDM in the academy. But maybe we'll find one from this latest batch of scouting. Yeah, uh, Netherlands. Uh, let's see uh, if we've got anyone here. Well, we could have a very solid left-sided player, Cohen Backer, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. It's only been one month and I like to leave it for at least two months uh, or more. So, yeah, we are, we are starting to get down to the, to the bare bones a little bit now, but... Again, the key is we don't need that much in terms of numbers in depth because of the fact we're only really playing league games between now and the end of the season. But 18 games in, 12 plays, currently six points off the bottom three. If we could, I say, like win like three and five games, for example, we could start pulling away from the bottom three. Let's start here. Following games, get back to any ways. Volkswagen Arriga has taken on Wolfsburg away from home. Come on, Cohen. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, DJ, went in. Now, where we go? Where we go? Where we go? There he is! Schaefer! Oh, what a start! Benjamin Schaefer on his debut! The wonder kid! Fires is in front row for it. I just calmed myself down. I didn't want to say anything, so I thought I was going to bugs it up. But Collar in front, and what a start on his debut! Right before the break. Forget MJ, this is BS. But there's nothing BS about a finish. Four corner. Can't have the lead of the Volkswagen Arena. Ah, oh, someone just pulled up. Is that... Oh, no, 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 no. Just seeing who it is as well. It's Max. Just pulled up. Thankfully, ends up looking fine now. But, yeah, that's a, that's a pulled... Hopefully not ligament. But he's continued to run. Despite the pain, playing through it. Max, can he finish? Oh, what a save. And that's going to do it as well. Two wins in three and five away day victories already this season. Yes, we've now got our first win to Ryan Energy Stadium, but I far, playing, I far prefer playing away from home, man. And what a start for Benjamin as well on his debut, getting his first goal too. Question is, how bad was the injury from Max? Ah, oh, um, we don't have one. So in the end, I think I think he must have just ran it off then. You very rarely see players... Yeah, he just ran it off. You very rarely see players run off injuries. But in the end, 
I actually took him off directly after that uh, that shot was saved. But uh, yeah, in the end, he's, he's fine. He's fine. So five, five assists and a goal in those 19 games. And thankfully, he is indeed okay. No, no, no long-term injury there. And so as deadline day has come and it's about to come to an end, I've just sold Florian Dykes. He's like our fourth, fifth choice striker. I don't think he's played a single minute this season. It's totally fine selling to Konya Spore for a small transfer fee to get his salary off the books. Uh, and the top deals of the window were, wow, look at those three there. Ronald Araujo to Liverpool for 107.1 million. Massive move from Barcelona. Robertson has finally left Anfield after so many years and gone to PSG. For 62.5 mil, uh, 62.3 mil, sorry, and Brahim has joined Spurs from Real Madrid for 51.3 mil. So interesting moves there. And I also saw as well, there was a, uh, a move that saw Tony Kroos go to Manchester City as well for a, uh, a small-ish transfer fee. But that'll do it for the window. Uh, January comes to win it. So now, officially, the transfer ban has been lifted. We can make signings from the summer onwards. But this will be our score for the rest of the season. I've got to say, again, there's, there's very little depth here. But it's not too important. I say this all the time. If you're not playing in Europe and you're not going far in the cup, we were knocked out already in October. You don't need a fixed squad. You don't need a fixed squad. That's only really for when you've got multiple competitions to compete with. So two more scouting updates. Let's see what we got. Well, unfortunately, I have missed out on this target. who looked pretty decent. Schroeder has gone to Belgium. Uh, this guy still looks really, really decent. But I want to give him an extra month, as does this guy, Nicholas Volta. But uh, we'll see how he looks after one more month. Belgium continues to look mightily impressive in terms of young talents. So I like to look at this lad, Samuel Matteo. I think he's one of those players where if you were to give him a, a scholarship, you'd see his CM. And if you convert him to like CAM or, or LW or RW, he'll, uh, he'll have an overall spike. And also this lad here, Daniel Dennis as well. Already one mil mark evaluation. Don't normally put players in my academy after just one month, but for him, I'll make an exception. So academy now looking at this as February is here. Obviously, you've got three players in the first team with lone one out as well. But the best player for now continues to look like German centre-half. Ronnie Hahn looking very solid indeed. Got a bit of height. Want that strength to continue to improve as well. But he looks very impressive indeed. Fingers crossed. Crossed. He won't ask for a pro deal at the end of the season, and we can loan him out for next year. Right, let's try and pick up the pace and try and get through as many more games as we can today. Following Clash Frankfurt at home, looking for our third win in four, and our second win in home in this run as well. Come on, Cologne. You might be wondering why I've given Max the 91. Yeah, I didn't give DJ 33, and I didn't give Ben the 23. It's just because they took squad numbers. Oh, great save, Schwabe. They took first team squad numbers straight out of the academy. And I love it when that happens. A youth player takes, like, again, like a number nine, for example, in the case of Ben. It's like, okay, you want that first team number? You can take it, but you're going to have to prove you deserve it, you know? Maybe next year I'll, uh, I'll give. Schaefer, the uh, sorry, uh, I'll give uh, Simons the uh, the first team squad number as well. For now, we'll keep 91 between now and the end of the season. Squad numbers to me, I don't know why I'm so like not OCD with them, but they are important to me. I need to get them right, you know. So, for this season, you can keep 91 coming out of the academy, but next season, I might give them a first team one. There's Mania Selka. Great build up. Oh, what a rocket. Lovely passing move and a finish by Jan Thielemann. Absolutely sublime. Right in the top corner. So corner, mate. And now Simons. And Max with a lovely through ball. Jan just got his first of the season. He'll offload. It's Benjamin Schaefer. Gets a little bit lucky, but a finish is crisp into the bottom corner. Fortune and goal. But he kept his eyes on the prize and turns in. His own rebound, FC Cologne in front for the first time in the game. And it's 2-2 two two for Benny Boy. A little bit lucky, but it's a nice rolled finish into the corner. Comeback complete, turnaround done, Carl in front. Oh man, I'm loving this man, seriously, I am loving this. Simons, what a ball. Selka, oh I thought he was going to come across, but that's alright, I'll take it round him. Come on! All three of our youth players are having massive impacts on this FC Cologne team. Schaefer's got two goals in two since coming out of the academy. Simons is our top creator. And since DJ's come through the academy as well, our defence has never looked better. All three youth players in Youth Player FC are making their mark as teenagers. I am loving this. It is indeed going to be. Oh, what a turn and what a tackle. As we get it away. Oh, DJ, I see you. I, hang on a second. DJ! DJ, no! DJ, what are you doing? DJ, oh god! <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, this is why I didn't keep him as a striker. He's got 30 odd finishing. What was he doing coming out of the academy as a striker? That's like in youth football. You just put your best player up front. Do you know what I mean? You just you just you just put the best player up top. But DJ man, he's not a striker. No one finishing like that. He's a centre half, man. Oh, Still waiting for his first going out of the academy, but massive win. Second at home this season now. Finally, the curse of the Ryan Energy Stadium has been lifted. And FC Khan, three wins and four, best run of the season as well. Loving this. Right, next up, TSG Hoffenheim away. Let's try and pull further clear at that bottom three and get this nice little mini run going. Come on, Khan. Watch the shot, watch the shot. Ah, oh, bottom corner. Class finish there. Just kind of got stuck in the middle. Couldn't come across on time and crisp finish, to be fair. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have. Through the gap. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, man. Could be a great breakaway, but that's a turnover of death. Just, oh, what an assist. Could have been away possibly for a 3-1-3. Three -three. Gave possession away, but that little flick inside. Listen, you know I'm a sucker for a nice assist, man. I even mind if it comes against me. He's just absolutely done me in there. Oh, my God. That is just glorious. Looks even better on the replay, man. That's it. Game over. Nice, nice run of three wins and four, but it, this is going to be an L. I've, I've just not been on it today. No, 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 no. It's going to be free. It's going to be free. God, man, this has been terrible. Brought back down to earth. Nice little run and absolutely dominated here away off. And I was awful in this game, man. I had literally nothing going for me at all. Still say this all the time when you've had a bad loss like that. Just take the lessons from it, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and move on to the next one. Following game, Villa Bremen at home, and to get back to winning ways here. Come on, Kill. Okay, Antonio inside. Oh, finish. It's going to be another game without a clean sheet and Verde Bremen take the lead right for the right. I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking. But when you do have a few losses on the trot, that's when you start oh, start to look over your shoulder a little bit and think, hmm, just how many points are we off the bottom three? We've given ourselves a nice cushion, but, you know, in top tier football, man, you go on a poor run, it's not long before you're dragged into a relegation scrap. Schaefer with Selker ahead of him. Can he find him? Yes, he can. Davy, yes, what a finish. Scored a brace with him against Werder Bremen in the reverse fixture at the Vesa Stadion. I say this all the time. I know there's nothing coded into the game, but it does always feel so strange that when you're playing against a player's former team, they always seem to either get a goal or assist or a man who wants to play or something, you know. And Davy Selk has got another one. He is just on absolute flames this year. You know, I'm thinking about next season. If we do stay in the... Bundesliga, which I oh I expect us to do so. That might be a straight red, you know. It is indeed. You know, where where do we look to improve next season with the transfer ban being lifted for next season onwards? Where do we look to improve the team? That's a cynical foul that. I know one position where we won't look to strengthen at all. That is striker. Davy Selker. It's too good. Oh, what a finish on the volley with the flags up for offside. Lovely free kick played into the middle, flipped on, but flag up. Still with Bremen down to 10 now. I think we should be able to find a winner. We have losing this. This would be a disaster. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness gracious me. This is when you know you're a poor team. When you're at home and you're losing to a team with a man disadvantage, that's poor. That's really poor. Well, considering the context, that's the worst loss of the season, that. Verde Bremen below us in the table, at home. A man advantage and we lose 2-1. That's, that's an awful, awful defeat. That's shameful. Directly after the game as well, our third player this season saying due to a lack of game time, he wants to leave and move elsewhere. Totally fine. Luca Killian's like fourth choice centre half now by Huber Chabot. And obviously our star wonder kid, Janssen. So totally fine with that. He's growing a rating. He's only 24, but totally fine with that, man. We've got, we've got the young lad, Ronnie, in the academy who will surpass him when he gets a pro deal. So I'm totally fine letting him go to, okay, Wolfsburg, 2.5. We'll take the transfer fee, get the salary off the books and uh, prioritise those academy players uh right so before okay from valencia i accept that too before we get to that stuttgart game we've got another scouting update from the netherlands let's see what we've got here well, there's a couple of players i'm quite keen on uh cone baker still looks really really decent or backer i should say possibly a uh, a new giovanni van bronco is possibly on that left hand side but we'll continue the scouting on these guys for now and uh, see how they look after another month. Right, following game, back to my losses, now Stuttgart away. We're, we're still in 11th with 12 games to go and 10 points off the bottom three, 
so I'm not I'm not panicking, but I think I think three wins will see us survive. And in 12 games, we should be able to get them. Let's get one here at the Mercedes-Benz Arena and try and pull away from that bottom three. Come on, Carl. Oh, it's not the Mercedes-Benz Arena anymore? The MHP Arena. My apologies. Um, I like when it's called the Mercedes-Benz Arena, though, because I could... It's like the, 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 you know, the German car stadium. It's the Volkswagen Arena, the Mercedes-Benz Arena. It's comfortable with that. When stadium name changes happen, it's, it, it, sometimes it's hard for me to, to think of it as anything but what I've always known it as. It's like, for me, it's like the Liberty Stadium with Swansea. It's always going to be the Liberty in my mind. I don't know what it's called now. Swansea.com Stadium, I think it is. It's always going to be the Liberty Stadium to me, you know? I just can't, I just can't get it, you know, in my mind. I just can't seem to make the adjustment. Just to finish. Ah, oh, it's, too, it's too easy. Far too easy. I thought I was going to try and bend it far corner. In the end, just ball rolls around me and then finds the far corner from a closer proximity. So look at it, I thought he was going to shoot there and it just, just walks around like two sky blue shirts will find a My defense is weak, man. So, so weak. And granted, don't get me wrong, I know we've got a youth player, 69 overall in the back line, but that's no excuse, man. Sometimes I'm just so, so easy to open up. I think for next season, if I am thinking of transfers, hold on. Got to finish that. Yes, come on. Benjamin Schaefer with another one. I'll probably say CB and possibly someone on the flank with some raw pace as well. But right now, despite his low overall, Benjamin Schaefer, another goal. Third already, and he's got an assist as well. This dude is case in point as to why EA should put upgrades in the game. Because for the summer, he should have like a plus six, plus seven. He's on flame since coming out of the youth team. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. 1-1 one, one draw, stops the rot, and a decent point away at Stuttgart. Yeah, it's not a bad result. Still no wins in three. It's not a terrible result, that. And after the game, as we see, Killian is going to join Wolfsburg for 2.5 million in the summer. Two more scouting updates. Let's see what we got. We're from Germany. We'll continue scouting on these two, but I must say I'm quite excited about Nicholas Volta. I'm going to gamble and just do one more month and see how he looks after that. But this guy looks very solid indeed. And from Belgium, I think I'm going to give one player a scholarship, even though we've only had one month's worth of scouting, and that is Mauro. I'm not sure how you pronounce that surname. Is it Lefebvre? I think that might be right. I'm not too sure, but he looks very good indeed. So I'm putting him straight in the academy. And to me, based, based on those initial preliminary stats there, I do feel as though he could possibly play slightly deeper as a CM or stay in that CAM role. Either would be fine. He looks, he looks pretty decent. I'm not going to lie, man. Hopefully that potential range gets narrower but improves. But as for Ronnie Hahn, he's the best of the lot right now. Goodness, this is this is a this is a talent. This is a real talent at centre half, man. I've got to say, long term, he and DJ, I can already see striking him a great partnership. Massive benefit is he's left footed as well with that 89 and 94 potential. Right, following game uh, again, the new champions by Leverkusen at home. Looking for the season sweep on them, beat them away to buy arena somehow. Aims now beat them back to back and get one of I would say again three wins. They will all but guarantee safety. Come on, Kern. Almost there. All hands on deck right now. Two to go. Trying to grind out a uh, credible point and clean sheet here against a good Leverkusen side. How's Johnny Tar got that away? Thankfully, DJ does the same. Gets it away. And that is good. I'll take that. I'll take that. I say this all the time, man. But draws are subjective. In, in this modern era, it seems at times they're just always dismissed as bad results. But in this case, it's a good point. It's, it's an extra point on the board. It's a clean sheet after none in several games. And it's a decent point taken against one of the top teams in the league. Sometimes they're good points. Yeah, I mean, hypothetically, if we were to get a point in all of our remaining 10 games, that's 36 we'll finish up with, and that'll be enough for safety. And I would have taken that preseason every day of the week. But let's see if we can bounce back for a win here in this one after none in our last four. Borussia you glad back away at Borussia Park. Come on, Carl. Yeah, and through the gap, Fingarafe. Max. It's been a while since an assist for him. He's back on track. Davy Selkirk with the finish. And Köln lead. It's it's crazy how this guy just isn't growing anymore. It's like he's our best player this season, and yet he's done for growth. He's got 14 in 25 EA. What more can he do? What have, what have? This has got to be, got to be, got to be. Benjamin. Finish, young man. What a start for this guy, man. Köln double up, and they're getting back to any ways at Borussia Park. Benjamin Schaefer. The real deal, man.
Yeah, this is Youth Player FC, but out of all of our youth players, this is the main piece. Ironically, the lowest rated, but in this run, the most impactful. He's, I think he had fourth goal, I think, already since coming out of the academy. He's unbelievable. Back-to-back -back clean sheets, return to winning ways, no losses in three. Yeah, it just seems like with every game week now, we edge closer and closer to official survival. I said we needed three wins, now two, and probably, to be fair, even one might do it. We're, we're in touching distance of Bundesliga safety, man. As long as we don't have a massive tank between now and the end of the season, we're, we're going to be all right. Right, let's do two or three more and see if we can get those wins then to end today's episode off. Uh, following game, RB Leipzig going for the title here at the Rhine Energy Stadium for our fourth game in a row without loss and back-to-back -back wins as well. Come on, Carl. No, 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 no. Yes, DJ. Oh, no, 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 DJ. <laughs> Danny Olmo would have finished. This is what has made this year's FC such a difficult game to play. If you make a mistake, you will get punished. The Aero and Ultimate are not going to let you off the hook. With that moment now, I made the insertion with DJ, but it's just a fraction of a second where I don't offload the ball, and in the end, I overcook a touch. It runs straight into the path of Danny Olmo. It's a simple finish. If you make a mistake like that, there is no doubt about it. You will concede a goal. You have to be so switched on. And this game is going to end a uh, minor, and I say very minor, undefeated streak with a 1 0 loss at home to Leipzig. It was one of those games where it's like, even though you look at the scoreline, you think, oh, it could have been a close game. No, it really wasn't. I literally had no chances at all. Leipzig with a comfortable victory there. All right, like I said, we only really need the one win, so I'm not too disappointed about that. And after the game, another player is going to leave in the summer. I actually quite like Hubers, to be fair, as a backup, but he's, he's now going to go as well. Man, we are. We are seeing everyone jump ship, man. They don't want to be here for the rebuild with the uh, the young lads. So let's take a look. And oh, I've got to say, this guy looks really solid indeed. Let's take a look and see what we've got from the Netherlands here. Uh, I must say, he looks very solid backer. Possibly, again, a new Giovanni van Bronckhorst. So he could be quite good as well. Marvin van Dijk could be uh, could be quite a solid offensive piece as well. But I want, to, I want to see just how good that backer lad looks in our academy, man. don't know whether I overestimated that, but... He looks really solid. Um, A2 on to 94 potential. And again, as a, a left-sided player, the defensive stats are really, really poor. But going forward, he could be very solid indeed. She's going to convert this guy to right back as well. Stays at 62 overall. But because we've got Ronnie and, of course, DJ as well, he's got far more chance of making it as a uh, as a right back than a centre half. Right, uh, let's jump into our following game. We'll do, we'll do one or two more today. Augsburg, bloody Augsburg. You know I can't stand taking on these guys, man, away from home. But just below us in the table by five points, a win here. And like I said, I, th I think with eight to go, we probably only need just a one win from here, or possibly two. Let's get one of those two here. Come on, come. 25 minutes in, still no nil. And there's Thielman, puts his man on the floor there. I think Grafe with Selker in the middle. Lifted to him. In comes Benjamin. Wonderfully done. Oh, finish. Finish, Benjamin Schaefer. Wonderfully held up by Selka. Crisp finish by our number nine. And it's a wonderful little move. Wrapped up by our star out of the academy. Since coming out, he's been nothing other than sensational, man. Crisp finish on the half volley. We're in front in the first half. Yeah, win this game, and I think we are safe. Careful. Yes, Max. Well in, son. And Eric's done well to keep holding that ball. And I see him. I see him running. Oh, what a ball, Linton. Controlled. Brilliantly done. Ben, keep going. Wonderfully. Oh, what a move. Can you finish? Yes, you can. What a wonderful goal. And it's two for Benny Boy. He's sixth in nine games. That's a wonderful, wonderful goal, that. And it's finished off by our number nine. And this, this win away at Augsburg is going to confirm that. We're, we're going to go down from here. And it's youth player to youth player for the first time in the save. Max to Ben. Game over. Con are going to survive this season. I, I can't see us going down from here. Yeah, I think it's over now. I, I, I never like to celebrate too early because you just never know in football. From this position, beating a team just below us on the table as well. For us to go down, we would need to lose every single game. And the teams below us to win over half of their remaining fixtures. I think it is done. It's the youth players, youth player FC, that have led us to survival. Just before what will be our final game today as Schmitz looks at those going to Ajax. 
Uh, we've got our final uh, scouting reports from Belgium and Germany. We're from Germany. Just a one player is going to make the academy, and that is Nicolas Volt, whose potential still looks really, really solid. And from Belgium, just a one player going to make it. That's Matisse Moreau. Uh, he could be quite good in the six foot two is quite appealing as well. So just one quick look at the academy for the final time today. Uh, we'll see how the youth squad is looking. Very good indeed. And again, I always say we can be we can afford to be selective. So if someone in here isn't quite progressing the way we want, I'm not against releasing them. And I'm already thinking about Moreau, who I've just given the scholarship to. Is he going to make it? I'm not too sure. I mean, the technicals are so, so low. And at 50 overall, where there's no obvious position change, where he'd have a massive spike... I don't think he's going to make it. So I've just driven into Cologne, and now I'm going to say, sorry, mate, actually, I don't think you're going to make the cut. We've, we've got just too many players. Same with Giovanni Bagger, to be fair, who in, are in same positions as players that are far better. So I always say this, you can afford to be selective, and this is why you can. Because you'll find a player or two like this every single season. We've got about four of the players as good as this. Yeah, final game. Let's end on this. Uh, VFL Bochum at home in match day 38. Or a win here will all but mathematically confirm safety with six to go. Let's get it done against this year's bottom plays team. Come on, Cal. Yeah, I mean, I did say at the start of the season there were teams in this division that are weaker than us. So as long as you didn't absolutely tank... We should be able to survive, and that's exactly what's happening. You, know, you look at like Darmstadt again, Bochum, possibly Heidenheim as well. Th th these are teams that we've got more quality than, despite being a team in transition with a transfer ban. So really, we just needed to not bottle it completely, and it will be ours. As Miner does really well, and the finish is crisp as well. He has his first or maybe second goal this season, but Linton Miner, I like him. I like him a lot. You know, a lot of these Cohen players are going to be leaving for next season. But I like this guy. He's absolutely rapid on that right side. It's indeed his first of the season as well. And it might be the goal that guarantees our safety. This is one of my favourite parts of the season where you know your objective is basically done. And you can now start thinking, well, who's going to, who's going to stay? Who's going to stay long term? Look, it's an RTG. When you're doing an RTG, a lot of your team is going to go. But there's going to be some players that will be part of the furniture and there for the ride. Who are those players going to be? You need to find out who they are. For us, we, we already know. As Davy Selker goes down early there. He'll be one of them. As will Eric Martel, Jan Thielman, Fink Graffe as well. But also Linton Miner. I really, really like him. As he rolls it through to Ben. And Kynes. And Jan Tillman, oh, what a goal that would have been just wide. You know, I'll practically never celebrate an objective until I've hit it because life and sport and gaming is just too unpredictable. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Our third win in four and our fourth clean sheet in five all but confirms that FC Curl are staying in the Bundesliga for the following year with six games to go. And that'll do it for today's episode of the Bundesliga career, guys. So big thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day and yep we'll return with the impromptu season finale in the very next one we'll wrap up the Bundesliga season uh, see who won what in the major competitions do a squad recap and have our final month's worth of scouting for the Netherlands as well in our final episode of season one have a great day much love and I'll see you for the finale very soon